Hello and welcome to Sovereign RPG. I am Sovereign and we're going to be starting to do a little bit something different now. We're going to be doing some interviews where I interview some of the content creators, some of the more well-known players, CEOs of Corpse, etc. We find out how they feel about the game. It's going to be sort of a smaller Echoes talk just for the YouTube channel. And today we're going to have someone very important, the king of Eve Echoes content creation, Captain Benzi. Hello, Captain Benzi. Ahoy there. How's it going, Sovereign? Not too bad, not too bad. It's a, a bit of a mental one today. The heat is through the roof, so like I've got fans everywhere. I apologize to everyone if you can hear the fans in the background. <laughs> no worries. Thank you very much for having me on. And yeah, this maintenance is absolutely insane today. It is, go but we are going to be getting 5k SP for every hour. So for me personally, if I can take a break and get some videos done and get all the stuff sorted, then I'm okay with uh, like taking some time out of the game because recently my videos have been uh, few and far between because I've been spending so much time playing the bloody game. <laughs> I've had the opposite. It's been a nice time to actually socialize with the family. <laughs> well, at the moment, I'm uh, uh, not because uh, I'm working at the same time as doing these videos because I'm working from home. So I run a team there and uh, I just basically see if they're doing everything correct. And other than that, I just play the games or make videos. All right. So let's just jump into the questions. So we're going to be starting off with uh, how are you finding the game so far? How do you feel the game is progressing in the first couple of weeks? I mean, I think first things first, it has to be said, NetEase have done an absolutely incredible job up to this point, keeping the servers fairly stable. Um, you know, we had no major hitches at all in the first couple of days. Yeah, it's been a couple of bits here and there afterwards, but yeah. I'm loving things so far, proceeding at pace, you know, hit tech six. I've got my first Dromiel, which I'm super happy about. Yeah. Um, it, it's, it's going well. We've... <laughs> Our, our little corner of Nullsec has been invaded about eight times by different <laughs> Well, that's part and parcel of Eve, man. Yeah, yeah, that's part and parcel of Eve. That's how, that's how it goes, especially when you have uh, like uh, your actual content creator's name as your character's name. I'm sure that's going to be bringing you some heat as well when they see you in your videos. And like that obviously causes certain people to come after you. Have you had any uh, like in local chat people coming up to you talking shit or anything like that? In fairness, it's actually, for the most part, been the complete opposite. I tend to make a make a point that when I stop at any of the major ITCs to pick stuff up, like even in Amar, I was at Amar yesterday, hmm. um, just doing an 07 in chat, and sometimes I'll just be flying through systems, and I just get random messages from people saying, hey, are you that guy who does YouTube videos? You know, I've, I'm, I've, I've been watching <laughs> thanks for your help sort of thing. And it's, it's, it's incredible. I feel like a celebrity, and it's just like, it's like I'm making videos and having fun with this. Thanks for letting me know, but... I'm, I'm just a player. <laughs> um, as for have I had any sort of hate, uh, I would say playfully. I think yeah. we had a couple of people pop their head into the system and go, hey, is Captain Benzi here? One of them got podded nearly instantly. On the <laughs> it was um, he just, he, a couple of guys in my corp said, look, you know, this is not welcome space. We recommend you leave now. And he's like, oh, well, if you're aggressive to me, um, I'll come back with my friends and we'll be aggressive to you. <laughs> I then just saw the kill mail posted in chat, in the local chat with, take it up with my CEO. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually, we've had a... Uh... We did have one other... Yeah, go on, sorry. We did have one other instant um, when I was, uh, we, as I said, we've been invaded quite a lot by a couple of corporations. Mm. We flew out to their station and one of them kept going, oh, are you still begging for money on YouTube and all this kind of thing? <laughs> like, are you still begging for money to replace the ships we just blew up? <laughs> it, it's been mad. It it's always, it does make me laugh when people say content creators are begging for uh, like money making videos. Like there's a lot of shit that we have to do to make these videos. I'm sure it's, it's even worse for you. I find it difficult myself, but like, uh, I know you like you have your full-time content creator and you're pumping out videos daily. I mean, how long does that take? How often do you make videos? Do you make them every day or do you do them eight hours a day in one bundle and then release them as time goes on? It's kind of a bit of a, a bit of column B. Um, ultimately, as you know, I do everything on my phone. So the editing, the filming, all of it, it's done completely on my phone. 
Um, so when I'm playing, I tend to have my overlay open, and if I think something good's about to happen, I start recording it, and I sometimes use that as footage in the background of the video, um, which I then just record my voice over at a later date. Yeah. Uh, literally, I go into like the, the Google Pictures app, play the video back, and then just start <laughs> recording my voice over it. Um, other times, I've got a plan ahead of time, so I'll sit in station and talk about what it is whatever subject i want to talk about like today i did a video on propulsion system yeah and that was all planned every little bit of that is it, it's 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 pretty uh, premeditated oh that's pretty um, cool so a planned video might take me maybe if it's a 20 minute long video there's probably about half an hour's worth of footage in there mm -hmm. if not a little bit more might take me an hour or so to get that by the time i've finished swearing at myself for messing up my lines time and time again <laughs> um Editing it then can take anywhere between 30 minutes or three hours, depending. Um, so it's kind of a little bit up and down. And I usually record daily, um, but I do have a little bit of padding ahead of time. So like right now, I've got two videos uploaded ready to go. Thank goodness, because I've not been able to get in and record one today. <laughs> yeah, well, sometimes we have to like take the opportunities while we can. Like today, for instance, I'm getting as much of my content done as possible. Because obviously, like when the game's up, I'm either playing the game or just sitting there talking in Discord and answering everyone's questions. So, like, uh, with this, yeah, are gone. And that's kind of the thing. Like, I get a lot of people in my comment section saying, "Hey, can you do a video on this ship or that ship?" And it's like, bear with me. Some of them get really aggressive. I've had one guy who was demanding like the the Omen trainer video. And yeah. It's like, chill out. I actually have to buy this ship with my in-game money, fit it myself, record it myself. And with me being invaded, I can't always record, because otherwise the video is going to be, Ahoy there, Captain Benzi here, coming at you with a video about, and my ship's gone. <laughs> Has that actually happened? Yeah, it happened during the final <laughs> test. Um, I <sighs> the video on the Dromiel. Yeah. It actually took me three attempts to do that. I lost the first two Dromiels to a corporation called JR. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. They don't make it easy, do they? I hadn't checked first one i hadn't checked i undocked and they were outside our station and just potted me instantly the second time i got halfway through the video they walked in with like five macariels and just blew me up yeah no that 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 sounds like uh, not so much fun on the content creator part but it does sound quite fun in the actual gaming part of things so we have um like uh you as you said earlier, are starting to be known as the king of Ebeko's content because of the amount of views you're getting, the amount of SEO you have. The front page on YouTube, whenever you type in Ebeko's, is Benzi, 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 all the way down. How does that feel to blow up from the 3,000 subs we had at the start to the, well, you're over 10K now. How many are you on right now? Currently sitting at 12,000 odd. I think I'm not far off 13,000 at this point. Jesus. Um, it's... it's it's been humbling. Look, I started making videos for a game called Command Conquer Rivals back in, what, 2017. Mm -hmm. um, and my channel, I remember hitting that first thousand subscribers. I remember hitting 2,000 subscribers and being blown away by that. 2,000 people across the world were interested in watching what I had to put out. That game didn't do so well for me, though I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I flitted around for a bit. This is, this is three years of work. Yes. Of me building up how to make content of finding my voice, I suppose, is a way of putting it, you know, how I actually do things. Then knowing that Eve Echoes was on the way, I sat there watching, I sent God knows how many emails to CCP saying, look, if there's an alpha, can I get in? Can I get in? Please help me. Um, <laughs> Open Beta came along, I got into that. And the channel took off, uh, December, 20, uh, December 2019. My channel exploded. I got like 2,000 subs in the space of a month. It's amazing. And my channel doubled. And then it stagnated again. I went from 4,000 to about 5,000 at the end of the final test. Mm -hmm. Last couple of weeks, 7,000 new subscribers. It's been mad. It must be a great, great feeling. As for the, the whole king of Eve Echoes, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not a king. I'm not anything like that. The, the, the crown weigheth heavy. Um, <laughs> I'm just another guy playing this game, having fun. I'm humbled by the support. I'm super glad that people find my videos useful. Yeah. Um, as, as we discussed earlier, actually, if I go onto YouTube and type in Eve Echoes, only one of my videos comes up. I see you and Excoundrel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Excoundrel's doing pretty damn well himself. Like, uh, he doesn't uh, put as many videos up, but he, he's definitely doing well. Well, he's got 74,000 subscribers. The guy's got a clear following. 
Yeah. Um, and he's very good at what he does. He's also had connections with Goon Swarm on EVE Online in the past. Mm -hmm. um, he's actually in the same alliance as I am as well, which is quite fun. Okay. <laughs> I actually I actually heard that you guys were uh, manhandled into that alliance. Is that true? Sort of, yes. So to tell the story, mm -hmm. I'm online. There's about 30, 30, 30, 40 guys in my corp in the system in Nullsec that we're in. And I undocked, and I was about to start recording a video again with <laughs> local opening this time. Yeah. When suddenly it went from literally the 30 of us in the system up to about 180. And then they all appeared warping in at the base and suddenly I was just dead. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? Jesus. We got into a, diplo a diplomatic chat. Um, the guys were very understanding. They said, look, you know, we understand you were here first. We don't really want to come in here and ruin your day, but we had earmarked this spot. Can we work together? We bashed out the details, and yeah, now we're now we're pretty much best of friends. Well, that's pretty good. I mean, uh, the story that was going around the cuckoo's nest, obviously, is obviously like uh, when people start talking Chinese whispers, it goes from one to the next, and it makes it worse and worse. How they like kicked the shit out of you and made you join them, but obviously that's not the case, as you've just told us. No, when when they first arrived, we literally lost two ships both of which were mine <laughs> that's, that's, that, that's kind of depressing actually how you're the only person who got hit <laughs> well it's as i said i was undocked at the station when they arrived they took advantage mm -hmm. of that blue. it's only a slash or two for crying out loud the second one was then a reaper i came out just to say hi and they shot that one as well <laughs> amazing amazing no we've had a we've had a bit of a run-in with a couple of um we had an alliance of Polish and Russian corporations move into a system nearby us and they they started harassing our fleets, doing what, you know, PvP corporations do. We had some good fun dances. Um, they like to, I've had a couple of them on my YouTube videos saying, oh, we kicked you in and you're sitting there saying that, you know, we didn't, you're acting like you won. It's like, look, mate, you came up, we had a bit of fun blowing up each other's ships. We lost trainers, trainers with Mark III fittings. I don't really call that a lot. <laughs> you then ran away at the end of it. We're still in this station. You're no longer in the region of space we're in. You guys yeah. have moved on. You, they, they occasionally turn up with a little raiding party and we just kind of dock up at this point because it's like, look, there's no point. There is no point you coming down here with 20 guys just killing a couple of our miners and then sitting outside our base for an hour. <laughs> it's still suffering peace then. Yes. There is actually zero point right now. I mean, it's good to have uh, some system defense going on and uh, some system, like the way you can control the system, some system control. But uh, as you said, it's like until sovereignty comes in, it's not really that big of a deal. Once that comes in, then we will see some issues. I do have um, like a, a couple of other questions. Now, we got, I got some questions from the community. The community brought something to my attention, which uh, I hope I'm not putting you on the spot by asking you. But they actually brought to me the, the, the fundraiser that uh, Fish has been working on for you and uh, for your internet, which is amazing, by the way. I, I have spoken to you earlier and you did say you're quite close to getting to that point now. They, uh, they have said that fi only 50% of the proceeds go to yourself. Is that true? As I've read it on the on the thing, yes, that is the case, that 50% of the proceeds do go straight to me on that. So before, like, uh, you, you didn't know before when the fundraiser was started that you'd only be getting 50% of that fundraiser? Yes, Fish did contact me ahead of time and she suggested that that would be the way that, that things would work. Mm -hmm. um, ultimately, I trust Fish. I've got no issues with that at all. I'm not certain where the other 50% is going. Mm -hmm. I assume a fair amount of it goes into things like transfer fees um, or if Talking In Stations has to raise some capital as well. Yeah. Ultimately, it's them raising what they need in order to do what they do best and then they're using that as a, a stepping stone to assist me. Quite frankly, I, I can kind of see where some people are coming from if you say that, you know, some people are concerned by it that if they want to donate, say, a hundred bucks, you know, $10, $15, whatever, let's not go with the big numbers. If they yeah. want to donate $10, only $5 if it gets through to me. That, to me, that's $5. That's still $5 close to the target that I was at. Yes. If it helps fish too, well, I'm, I'm okay with that. She's clearly got goals in mind that she wants to be able to assist other people with, so okay i'm cool with that i mean it was the general consensus that uh, a lot of people believed that they were donating straight to you and to help you with your internet and there was a lot of frustration afterwards when they found out that like it, it, it was it's on the web page they're not hiding it i'm not saying that they're hiding it but uh, a lot of people believe that it was all going to you so that that's upset quite a few people it's 
I can understand that. I, I, I don't know honestly what to say to that. I can understand that frustration. Um, in fairness, even if you came onto my Patreon and like pledged there for a month, I don't get the full percentage. Yes, from that. In 100%. Case, it takes a cut. If you come onto PayPal, um, well, I don't actually have a PayPal considering uh, uh, issues with that. Let's not go into that. <laughs> another long story. Yep. I might do a whole 15 minute video on that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Ultimately, the closest way, this. The way I look at it is that this is Fish just trying to get a little bit of extra money in my pocket and that I, I, I can't get upset with her for that. She's running this project, she's doing that off the kindness of her own back. Yeah. I'm and she as she said, she's been upfront about it. It's right there in the text on the website. I'm okay with that, honestly. Okay. There's there's no worries. I mean I wasn't uh, accusing anyone of anything, but it was just something that, that was brought up today and my, my Discord itself blew up. Like, whoa, what the I didn't know this. Uh, everyone went mental, so like I thought I'd just have to ask you so we can clear it up. So that's pretty good. <laughs> no worries. Um, so how much have you collected so far from your videos and your and the, the actual collection of the money? Do you know how much money you've raised so far in the fund? With the fund itself, I haven't spoken to Fish yet, so I've got that on my to-do list of contacts to make. I obviously don't have direct access to that. Yeah. Um, like no login or anything going on there. That's her side of things. Again, I have every confidence and every trust in her. Mm -hmm. and I will be speaking to her. Um, I was going to do that either tonight or tomorrow just to chat and see how that's going. Okay. Um, and just, just sort of touch base on that. Otherwise as well, um, obviously with Patreon and YouTube exploding the way it has done, as I said to you, I'm pretty much, I'm, I'm, I'm close. I'm yeah. close. So whatever's in that fund, I'm hoping will have actually tipped me over, which will be amazing if we can get that set up. Yeah, 100%. It's clear for anyone listening yep. um, that once we've got that first payment down, it's still eight to 11 weeks before we actually get that on the property due to our internet provider having to go to Bulawayo City Council, getting planning permission, Yep. actually digging up road to connect those cables that's why this is so expensive for us we don't have that kind of infrastructure here in africa like you do in most of the like europe and the west yeah no 100 uh, it's going to take some time but once you get there we'll be able to get some good you'll be able to get you on echoes talk whenever except to see a pretty face on there it'll be fantastic it'll be much better i just need to get a pretty face first <laughs> well i wasn't going to say anything i was trying to be nice <laughs> So, so far, how many vid what's your most viewed video currently? Do you have that on you right now or is that something you'd have to look up? Give me a quick second. I can pull that up in about two minutes, though. I'm pretty oh, nice. sure I know exactly which one it is. Yeah, it's right here in front of me. Because I've seen you, you're getting in the tens of thousands of views and uh, I'm not salty at all. I'm, I'm happy with my player base, but that's a lot of views, man. That's a lot of views. Okay, so at this point in time, it's still my Diablo Immortal video at the top. What? <laughs> you you got so much hate for that video. Yeah, thirty nine thousand one hundred and eighty nine views on that currently. Four hundred comments, of which I assume fifteen are death threats. <laughs> <laughs> Beyond that. The best ones are getting started with mining, and curiously, that was the Eve Echoes beta worth the wait, which seems like a really weird one. Yeah, yeah. The most views on. That's Surviving a weird one. First day in Eve Echoes, get it started mining. Seems people like the mining videos, and the Kestrel video did well as well. Which is kind of it's kind of so, strange yeah, with the mining. That. It's kind of strange with the mining because like uh, Nettie's turned around and said that there's that the numbers showed that there would be no industry or miners. So like uh, to see and my in my introduction videos to the certain parts of the game, my video with the most views is the mining as well, which is which goes to show that the miners are actually quite a big force to show. I think there's a certain it, it, it's that if you've got 90% of your player base are not interested in mining, only 10% are interested in mining. Those 10% just happen to be the ones who also look at the video. True mining. enough. Um, because it's it is one of those things that I think a lot of people hear about mining and hear that it's one of those things that not a lot of people do, but you can make a lot of money doing it. And so true. people look up how you can do that. Definitely true. Do you have any big videos coming up in the next couple of weeks? Anything that we should look out for? In honesty, I don't really aim to have any big videos. It's, it's not like I have a project ahead of time that I'm like, oh yeah, that's going to be amazing. I just have a lot of fun making what I'm making and trying to teach different things. Like I said earlier, today's video is on propulsion systems. Yep. Um, I've got a video upcoming um, on a topic quite close to your heart about warp, sta uh, warp stay rate. Yeah. 
Warp core stabilizers. <laughs> warp core stabilizers and warp disruptors. This is going to be a fun video to record. Yes, it will. Yeah, no. <laughs> so it's not any big video planned, just the usual kind of going ahead of time and just, just having fun with things, trying to teach what I what I know and showcasing some cool videos. Obviously, with the Dromiel now in my hangar, there will be a video on that one coming soon, so fingers crossed I can get out there and blow some people up with that. Amazing. Right, so we're actually cutting to the point of time where we have to start shutting it down. I just want uh, to thank you for coming on to uh, this new type of video that I'm working on, and I'm hoping a lot of people will enjoy this kind of thing because I, I enjoy actually talking to some of the fellow color creators, some of the fellow CEOs and players. It's it's actually really good to see and hear other people's opinions on the actual game um so i'm going to be putting captain benzie's uh, channel in the description and in the pinned comment to make sure to like and sub all of his videos he does but do daily videos they come out all the time like clockwork he never misses a day which is probably why he's blowing up the way he is because he's a content creator that you can really that you can really trust to get you the content you need when you need it uh, Thank you very much for having me, Sovereign, and definitely for your inaugural episode, I am I'm honoured and humbled. Seriously, thank you. No problem at all. I want to thank you all for watching. Remember, this is your one-stop shop for Eveco's content. Fly safe and avoid local chat scams.